So welcome back, everybody. I hope you had a nice lunch break. Not so much refreshing, I would say, but at least nice, I hope, with the splendid views of the St. Paul Hospital. We will have a video message now for you from the European Commissioner for Environment, Carmeno Vela. And uh, he will speak about the European vision for urban environment and health. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, many thanks for your invitation and my sincere apologies for not being present in person. You are addressing a topic that is important to citizens, important to me personally, and important for Europe's environmental policy. And you are doing it in the right place. Congratulations to Barcelona for winning the 2015 European Public Sector Award for its efforts to create a more sustainable urban environment. I know you understand the challenges. Europe's urban areas are home to over two thirds of the European Union citizens, and they generate 85% of Europe's GDP. Urban areas can cause environmental issues, but they are also where the solutions can be found, and that really matters. Our studies show that city dwellers place a high value on clean air, protection from noise and access to green spaces. That makes green infrastructure and nature-based solutions particularly important. Focusing on green infrastructure can help cities renew themselves. Good planning and innovative solutions like silent road surfaces can make cities more attractive. Barcelona is leading by example with its plans to reduce private car use in residential areas. I am sure that will also improve air quality. Urban environments are a special focus for the European Commission. Our European Green Capital Award recognizes cities that have a record of achieving high environmental objectives and want that to continue. Winners act as ambassadors for change, sharing their experience for the benefits of others. The Greenleaf Award for Smaller Cities works in the same way. Molet del Balez, not far from you, is one of the first winners. Our main aim is to share best practices. And to make this happen, we are developing a voluntary tool that any city can use based on the green capital criteria. If it can help influence herbal planning anywhere, it will be a success. We hope that it will help decision makers allocate resources in support of a better environment, ensuring the long-term well-being of citizens. It will also connect cities and bring them together. I aim to launch the full version later on this year, and I hope many cities use it to become more sustainable. My best wishes for your conference. I wish you every success.